So this has been a weirdly difficult couple weeks for a lot of people with everything in the news and I posted something the other day that was like, everyone should be really nice to each other right now and then I ended up being rude to a stranger and I was on the Amtrak and went into the cafe and the woman that was supposed to be working in the cafe was like not behind the counter but in front of the counter and counting money and she looked at me and I looked at her and she didn't say anything to me and I was kind of like standing there for like 30 seconds and just she wasn't saying anything to me and I was so tired and so cranky and had just been traveling the whole country and not that there's any excuse to be rude to anyone but I was just in a weakened state of mind and finally I was like excuse me is the cafe open and she was like no it's not <laughs> and I was like why did you not tell me like you've been staring at me this whole so I was like wow thank you for telling me that after I've asked you and just like looked at her with this like snotty face and walked away and as I was walking back to my seat I was like why did I respond like that what uh, yeah she could have told me but like who cares like why did I have to make it such a like a personal affront against me so when she got on the intercom and announced that the cafe was open in fact I was like I have to just apologize to this woman and I walked back into the cafe and I was like hey I'm sorry I was such a bitch before. I'm tired and I, I felt really stupid. And so I, I just reacted badly and I'm, I'm so sorry. And so I bought what I was gonna buy, Rice Krispie Treat. <laughs> and she was totally nice to me and was just brushing it off. And after she gave me my change, she like paused for a second. And she looked at me and she said, I'm sorry too. I could have told you. And honestly, it blew me away. I was not expecting an apology going in there. I just wanted to kind of clear my conscience and the fact that that opened up a moment for her to be able to reflect and like realize that she could have been nicer too was just like way above and beyond anything I could have expected. And um, yeah, so practice what you preach and actually try to be nice to each other and really wonderful things can happen. And uh, on that note, I'm gonna take my New York voter registration form to the mail right now. I've been registered in California this whole time, oops. And um, it's perfect timing because tomorrow I'm hosting a, an event that's connecting poetry and music and politics at my favorite local bar, Bar Uni. It's the first run of an experimental program so um stop by if you want to see something very messy and casual um uh, more info in the details under here and uh don't forget to register to vote i went to rockthevote.com to do mine bye guys